Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Monday. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I hope you guys had an awesome weekend and you're ready for the week ahead. Hope you have some goals, hopes, dreams, plans, ambitions that you're looking to rock out and are currently in the process of making it happen. What a wonderful day we have out there today. I hope you guys are having an awesome one. A uh, quick update before we get started. Geranium is the, uh, it's 15% uh, off this month until the end of the month from doTERRA. Geranium is an awesome oil. It's used for basically everything. It's known as the poor man's rose. Um, there's also new uh, enrollment collections that have just recently launched. If you're interested in um, getting started with essential oils or building upon your collection, now is the time. Definitely reach out to me and we'll get that started for you. I have launched a weight loss course for beginners. Um, it is a digital online course that can be purchased for download. Um, if you or somebody you know of is interested in getting access, now is the time. I'm super excited. There's tons of cool things that happens with the initial launch and I'm, <laughs> I'm super excited to get it out there and I hopefully you guys find a lot of value out of it. Let's get into today's topic is World Baking Day. Yeah, woohoo! All right, hope you guys got some cool meals that you guys are ready to rock out. But what I wanted to come on is talk a little bit about ways to eat healthy. Um, this is actually a perfect, you know, uh, a day, if you will, right? World Baking Day to sort of give a little bit of, uh, you know, tips and tricks on how to make baking healthier, right? Ways that, um, you know, to make healthy eating fun. That's not really that, that, that you know, that's not a real uh, boring, mundane, monotonous thing that you think of, right? A kale salad with, you know, cucumbers and uh, a, a celery juiced shake. Yay, right? Bring that on. Give me that. Oh, yes, I want more of that. So that's where I wanted to come on and give some tips that help me to, uh, you know, make, make healthy eating not so boring. Um, you know, maybe ways to switch it up a little bit. And they help me, so I want to share them with you, and hopefully they help you too. Uh, tip number one is to start small. Healthy eating is something that, you know, if you're not ready for it, it can really... <laughs> can really cause a lot of we'll call drainage right um when you're uh you know when when if you're if you don't really eat healthy right and you're not really into the fruits and vegetables as often as you should um you know it can be a real adjustment for your body and it can be a real big process to go through right it's your body sort of using the nutrients that it's got now to cleanse and detoxify uh, your insides, right? And, and uh, allow a sort of different process to happen. And uh, that, like I mentioned, right, if you're not ready for it, it can cause a huge, it, like it can be a huge deal. And it can also cause a lot of overwhelm, stress, right? What's going on? Why, you know, am I, am I on the toilet every 30 minutes, it seems like? Uh, you know, I don't actually have um, that much time at work, <laughs> you know, to be going to the bathroom all the time. And like, I, I know perfectly for me, I work on the line, right? So, you know, I need somebody to cover my job if I'm to go to the bathroom. So that's where I kind of need to be strategic in what, what I eat, when I eat it, how I eat it, right? I can't be just drinking all day. Um, and so that's where, you know, you need to find different ways uh, that work for you. But that's where starting small is an easy way to figure out what works for you without having to make these huge changes all at once. Also, you can see exactly what works. Uh, you can see what doesn't work. You can see what you like. You can see what makes you happy. Uh, some foods may make you a little bit more grumpy, right? Who knows? But you don't know until you try. So that's why, you know, a, a little bit of additions here and there. Um, you know, maybe even tonight while you're baking, you know, uh, consider switching from butter to maybe olive oil, right? That's a huge difference right there. Um, instead of using, using uh, um, uh, you know, sauces and stuff like that, consider using seasonings, right? Salt, pepper, um, uh, you know, some steak spice, right? Stuff like that. Uh, di little 
different things like, uh, you know, instead of deep frying stuff, right? Don't get deep fried. Um, you know, do it oven baked or something like that. So there's, there's little things. That's a, you don't even have to add stuff into your, into your routine in order to make it healthy. Uh, you can just change the way that you're cooking it. Start small. Do something, something today that will help your future self. Number two, meal prep. This one, this is actually one of my favorite things to do because I hate cooking all the time. I really hate cooking at the best of times, but for me to have to cook three meals every day, <laughs> all day, every day, right? And then wake up the same to tomorrow and do the exact same thing over and over, I probably would not eat <laughs> as much as I should or, uh, you know, as much as, uh, you know, that's not really the answer, uh, it, it, it is, right? It, it, you know, if, <laughs> I mean, let's get real here. How many people told you that adulthood consists of, you know, thinking of and preparing three meals every single day for the rest of your life, along with snacks and, you know, food for the, for, you know, just in case you get hungry. There's a whole list of things that goes along with that. So that's where meal prep comes in. And you know, meal prep can be nothing more than, what we do is we just make big stir fries, right? We, uh, we make an, like an oven bake um, vegetable thing where we just throw all our vegetables in like a tray, bake that in the oven. We do some egg thing uh, that's you know, uh, all, all, all sorts of vegetables in, a, in a, a baking pan and then just with an egg base on that. So that's like a quick, easy breakfast. Um, and that's, you know, that's little things. Meal prepping can be nothing more than, you know, just doubling or tripling your recipe that you're making and then just, you know, divide it up into portions for at least a few days, right? For us, we like doing roasts. Roasts is a great way to get mud, you know, an, an, an absurd amounts of food for, you know, a little bit of a, a fraction of the price, right? Um, so these are little ways that we can do what you know what we can right to have a whole lot of food to be made because that's it right if we're trying to think of three meals to cook every single day as well as snacks in between our meals you know for when we get hungry instead of not eating right not eating is the worst thing you can do for your overall wellness um you know when you don't eat your body starts to store fat all over because it doesn't know when it's going to get its next meal. So that's the worst thing you can do for your for your body is to not eat. Um, I you know you just want to. Um, that's where you want to make a plan, right? You want to get prepared in advance. Use your Sunday, maybe your Monday, right, to meal prep for the rest of the week or at, at the very least a few days. What I do is I love to take care of at the very least Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and then come Friday is just like whatever. It's a whatever day, right? It's, it's Friday um, and we'll, you know, we'll figure it out when we get there. But as long as I have like a, a few days to get prepared and I'm not cooking every day, that's, that's where I, that's where I get, you know, overwhelmed and stressed out, and right? We have, we're very busy people as is, right? We don't have time to be cooking three meals all day, every day. Come on now, let's get real here. Meal prep, <laughs> cook three, two, three, four, um, you know, amounts of portions at the same time. It, it'll be a huge help, I promise. And if it's not, definitely come back and tell me how preparing your meals for the rest of the week didn't help you at all and you were still super stressed out about what you had to eat. I would love to discuss that. Number three, eat more fruits and vegetables. When it comes down to it, right, healthy eating is, well, you need to eat healthy, right? You need to eat what you, the things that you're supposed to eat. And I, I actually heard something along the lines of if, if, if we were actually to get the proper amounts of vitamins and minerals, nutrition that we need, we would be eating 14 servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. You want to talk about not having time, right? <laughs> 14 servings? That, I don't know about you, but if I was to eat 14 servings of fruits and vegetables every day, uh, I would probably not be doing a whole lot more. Uh, <laughs> that would basically be the majority of my day other than sleeping, right? I can't see <laughs> me having a whole lot of time for much more. But, you know, that's where we roughly want to go with the seven servings, right? Six, seven servings. This one's really easy. Um, if we're doing three meals a day, and we do um, a serving of fruits and vegetables with that meal, right? That's three right away. In between meals, we tend to get hungry. It's not, you know, you're not 
completely, <laughs> uh, you know, a far-fetched person for getting hungry in between meals. It happens. You know, you're human. You get hungry. But that's where you need to be mindful of what you're eating, right? Snack healthily. Snack you know, make your snacks really, uh, you know, for fuel, eat for fuel, eat for health. Uh, and then if you're doing snacks in between your meals, that's three more servings of fruits and vegetables, right? So we're up to six servings in the day right now. And we haven't, we haven't even really tried, right? <laughs> and then that's where we try to add another serving or two uh, in, in the day somewhere along those lines, right? We get up to seven, eight, you can even get to nine servings sometimes, right? So that's where, you know, at the, at, 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 on the one hand, you need to make a conscious effort to make sure that you're doing better to help your body fuel for nutrition. But on the other hand, you want to make it as easy as possible, right? You're already eating, so why not eat a serving of fruits and vegetables? You're already you're going to get hungry throughout the day, so bring some servings with you, right? I love doing, you know, carrots in a bag. Um, you know, little mini cucumbers have actually become a household favorite around here. Um, uh, celery is another one. Celery is actually a great snack in the sense that I believe um, it. Celery is so few calories that you actually burn calories by eating it. Um, you know, it burns more calories to eat it than it does to consume it. So I mean, you know, if there's a way, if you can eat food and lose weight, <laughs> sign me up for that diet. You know, I, I can I can follow that. I can eat food with the best of them. Uh, but, you know, make a conscious effort. If you can't get your servings of fruits and vegetables, I definitely suggest supplements, um, some sort of fish oil, right, for your heart health, your brain health, um, a multivitamin, right, to get all uh, sorts of, to help your, your uh, overall body system. Um, what else do I take? You know, a vitamin C, vitamin D um, supplement, right, for, to help your bones, uh, with your bone health. Um, you know, and, and just, just different ways, right? I, right off the bat, I actually suggest a multivitamin, um, you know, for overall wellness, just because we don't normally have the ability to, to absorb all of the vitamins and minerals and nutrients that we need on a daily basis. So we are talking here on World Baking Day, woohoo, ways to eat healthy that does not make it super boring. Number one, start small. Little changes over the course of time will be super big. Number two, meal prep is going to be the easiest thing to help you with not getting so overwhelmed and stressed with your meals. Number three, eat more fruits and vegetables. Try for seven, eight servings per day. Number four, eat more protein. More protein is considered a macronutrient which basically means that um, your body needs a, a, like an absurd amount of it on a daily basis. Side note, water. Always wanna have the water. Water's great for overall wellness. Um, but, you know, eating more protein is, is huge because, um, like I said, protein, uh, it, 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 you know, the body needs a, an absurd amount of it on a daily basis as is, but it also sends a signal to your brain, letting you know that you're you're not hungry anymore. So it lets your brain know that you're full. So that's why we eat more protein, you know, uh, chicken. But that's that's where I let you know. That's where you know you're talking about eating more protein, and everybody's like, "Oh, great, chicken breasts, awesome, more chicken, yay!" <laughs> But that's where, you know, you want to you wanna mix it up a little bit. Chicken, obviously. Um, fish, excuse me, fish. Definitely fish is great for your heart, great for your, uh, your brain. Uh, what's different type of protein, right? Think about your grains, lentils, um, uh, quinoa, uh, couscous, stuff like that, right? All, all of that stuff is, you know, high in protein. And it's great for your overall wellness as well as, uh, sending signals to your brain, letting you know that you're full. So eating protein not only helps keep you fuller, you know, get fuller faster, but it also helps keep you fuller longer so that you don't, you're, you're not really forcing yourself to snack as much as you normally would uh, in between meals throughout the day, right? So more protein, consider, you know, at, you know, at least, uh, it, what, what was the thing that I read? 30% of your daily caloric in intake should be from protein, right? So if we're doing our daily caloric intake, right, we're, we're consuming about 2,000 calories, give or take, 
Um, that's the, the whatever nutrition thing that we're talking about. Of that, what, 10% is 200, so about 600 calories should be from your protein, and that way you will, you will help keep you fuller for longer, and also make it that much easier for you to not want to uh, you know, snack unhealthy, I guess if you will, throughout the day. Number five, try different recipes. This one's actually really fun for me and Tina. Um, not so much when we don't have the ingredients, right? But when we have the ingredients and we, uh, you know, we want to try new recipes, it's super fun for us to, you know, try new things, figure out different ways to cook things, um, you know, learn different types of recipes. Some recipes I didn't even realize call for like 37 different seasonings. I do not know why you need that many seasonings, but I would have never thought that if I hadn't tried something new, right? Uh, if we hadn't, you know, stepped outside of our comfort zone, if you will, to, you know, do something different than, our, than what we normally do. We normally always, you know, eat, think about realistically your life, right? You kind of eat the same thing, give or take over and over, right? So that's why trying different recipes can be a huge, you know, way to break the regular monotony of life and also, you know, help make cooking a little bit more exciting for you, right? Uh, you know, maybe you find a go-to recipe. Maybe you don't, but who knows. And my last tip, more than anything, is essential oils. Uh, and I actually have two perfect essential oils that are great for um, helping you with your eating healthy. The first blend of oils is Smart and Sassy. Smart and Sassy is the metabolic blend from doTERRA. It is, um, it helps to boost your metabolism and also curb hunger cravings, right? So when you're trying with your wellness goals, it's really hard for us to curb our hunger cravings. That's why I love taking Smart and Sassy. It's a little bit spicy, so uh, I like taking the drops right in my tongue. Uh, Tina doesn't mind it, so she takes it in her water. For me, not so much. My last blend here is Zengest. Zengest is the digestive blend from doTERRA. And I, I brought this one in because uh, there's as many, maybe, give or take, neurons in our gut as in our brain, right? So there's as much going on in our gut as there is in our brain at any moment in time. So that's why we need to do what we can to help sort of ease the digestive system, you know, allow for uh, free flowingness, if you will, I guess. Um, the only thing with this one is it smells like black licorice. It's got, it's got, um, can't remember what, fennel in it maybe. Uh, that smell, that makes it smell and taste like black licorice. So for me, I don't really like the taste or smell of that, but I get over it because of the awesomeness that it gives me. That's my only side note about that one. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. If you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you have like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.